Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point. But boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. They had taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. Leading them out, a guy who surprised a lot of people by ripping off wins in his first four starts last year. Undrafted out of Central Michigan, Cooper Rush. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led him to victory. He's doing all the right things. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Rush to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. The Cowboys at 11-1 now on the year. And I tell you, it has been a few months now since they've tasted defeat, and they are without question the hottest team in football. And I'm really not sure who's going to beat them right now because, to me, they have to be the favorites to go all the way because they're not just beating teams, they're dominating them. It's been fun to watch them play, not just in their winning, but how they're getting it done. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Inside game to Elliott. And down to the 44, five yards that time. The numbers for Zeke from last week, pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Try to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Throwing here, Rush. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, these two teams faced off earlier in the year, right around midseason, back in week nine. And it was the Cowboys winning on the road, so they look for the sweep here back home in Arlington. Rush's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. What a methodical drive. This is turning out to be that time nine yards, and the sticks move again. Play fake. Here's Rush. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one after the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A 10-play drive that time, and it's 
capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about it being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass. That's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 62 yards, and a touchdown. It's a pretty mediocre week for him on the ground. Certainly a boon to his offense if he can get a little more output on his touches this week. He should get some more early carries as his team tries to get him into a rhythm. Well, Charles, you know, you think about this defense. This week in preparation, you couldn't hide the fact from them that they're facing a team that's lost seven in a row. You just wonder if they prepare the same way they normally do. Yeah, that's a great question because normally that preparation goes into what you do well on defense. What is the best thing that you do going into a game? But in this case, you might want to take all the tendencies and throw them out the window. I would expect them to throw every trick play in the book right out of the gate in order to try and get something established and get things moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You look at this Cowboy defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking one through the post. Well done. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, Chad. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Micah Parsons, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation. From the gun, here's Swift. He can't get him down. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And yeah, that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Philly sets to punt. It'll be Cameron Johnston to do the honors. Devontae Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And the punt over the side in the air. And the spot will be inside the 35. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But they're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the no, distinction no, no. there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this when his down he goes. Osha Odegizua with the effort there to earn his sack. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now.
So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Under pressure, they got him again. Micah Parsons, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He's an NFL sack leader coming into the game, and now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. This is caught. It's close. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They work now on second and nine. Back to throw Rush. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Stays on his feet. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 43. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That one goes for 30 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson from 13 yards out. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Extra point try now for Crosby. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive spanned five plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. But first down, Hurts. going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard complete. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second down, here's Hurts. It's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. I tell you, Brandon, this defensive player with confidence haven't allowed a point yet. Fly him to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Oh, 
so instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and 10. A final shot before break. Rush. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Throwing his hurts. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. On first and 10, it's hurts. It's caught. Smith. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith. 28 yards and the Eagles are back within a score that's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game and you know that there's an emphasis on their side hey we know this we know where we are but sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score a perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done Elliott good with a PAT, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. On oh, second down, Elliott once more. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 42 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? He brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. left, Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 11 yards and the Cowboy first down. Final minute now in the third quarter. They go play action with Rush. This is caught. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. His second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now Crosby for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Now, after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Here's Hurts to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all observed their lessons. First down now for Rush. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, Elliott. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, it's Vaughn. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. They'll run up the valley, And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Eagles are right back in this football game. So a costly INT in the end zone, no less, puts the brakes on their potential scoring drive. So many teams stick with the passing game down near the goal line because they see it as an extension of what they do between the 20s. But as we said many, many times, the further you drive, the more the field shrinks. And that was a nice job of making a play on the football and coming away with the interception. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. This is first and 10. Back to throw again. His throw incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Back-to-back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Again, he'll drop to throw. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. Here we go, first and goal. Flag comes in, this might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside, defense. This is unbelievable. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it, no, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They'll look to throw again. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flushed out right. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. A big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first, now they're in a really bad spot. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, Elliott. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity.
They'll come up first and ten here. He'll look to throw. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone. And that's a safety. And that two points, you would think, should end any thoughts here of a possible comeback. Yeah, they had a long field ahead of them anyway, but now two scores down, you can just about chalk this one up for loss. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory. So this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way. But you and I both know that is not true. 